hello friends i am back with another video uh, today i am going to talk about visualizing the covid-19 data uh, using python and plotly visualization library in this video uh, specifically i will cover how to get the covid-19 raw data set from the johns hopkins github repository then I'll show you how to pre-process the data in the format uh, that we need for the visualization that we are going to create today. And thirdly, I'll show you how to create that donut chart, uh, which will visualize the active versus recovered and dead percentage using the Plotly visualization library. Before I dive into the code, uh, I will show you the final result, what we are aiming for. So if I go to this tab, you see here a donut chart uh, which shows you how many total cases are there in the whole world for the COVID-19, how what percentage of them have recovered, uh, what percentage are active and what percentage have died sadly. So in order to make this donut chart, I will go through the code uh, which you need to run to get to that. Alright, so without any further ado, let's jump into the code. I have prepared this notebook in advance and I'll also share the link to the GitHub uh, repository where I will upload these notebooks so you can uh, also refer them. So first of all, I'm importing the dependencies, uh, the pandas library which is the data analysis library we'll be using and then the plotly.express library which we will use to plot the data set and thirdly these three commands are for my uh, environment specific uh, because I am using Jupyter lab and the plotly charts don't render themselves in line in these cells here so I have to set the default render renderer to be the browser uh, which will show the graph on the separate tab that's just a minor thing uh, maybe it will work for you without needing these two lines uh, these three lines and if not then you can definitely try this okay uh, so moving on to the data sources uh, we need three uh, files for this particular donut chart First, we need the data of all the confirmed cases, which is a time series data and is available at this link. Uh, this is the GitHub repository for, uh, for the COVID-19 data that is stored and maintained by the Johns Hopkins University. And similarly, they have a file for recovered cases and as well as uh, sadly people who have died as well. So this is a time series data and I'm getting these three URLs using pandas library into three different data frames by using pd.readcsv and this is how it looks like the head commands shows uh, the top five rows the first five rows from the data set and I'm showing the confirmed time series so if you see here it contains the province the country the latitude longitude and then one column each for each date starting with starting from 22nd january till 10th of may which is the latest date and this is how all other uh, recovered and dead time series also look like maybe you can try it on your own now in order to get to that donut chart we need three figures one is uh, total active people secondly total recovered and thirdly total dead so in order to get to the total active we need to find out how many have recovered and how many have died and what is the total confirmed cases so we will do that in this cell so first i'm getting the total confirmed uh, which will be just the last column and summing it all up this is this figure Similarly, for recovered and dead, we are getting the last column and summing it up. And then to get total active, I'm just subtracting the total recovered and total dead from the total confirmed. 
So these are the four figures that we would need to produce the donut chart. Now for the ease of uh, coding, I am just putting all these four values into, or uh, only the three values which we need into a data frame. And this is the data frame uh, which has all these three values as rows. And I'm labeling the indexes with active, recover, and dead respectively. And the column is called total. So this is the view that you see here of this data frame which is created. And next, finally, we need to plot this into a beautiful donut chart. Well, this is a grim situation, so I should not say beautiful, but uh, Plotly creates really nice charts and I really like it. And even you can use Dash along with it to show different kind of data analysis charts on your website. So I would say Plotly is the best library to learn if you're learning visualizations in Python. Okay, so finally to the plot plotting of this uh, data. Uh, I'm using the px.py function which creates a pie chart. I'm passing in the data frame that I created here which contains all our data which we need to plot. Then I'm passing in what the pie chart should plot which column from the data frame so that's the total column the names of all the three different uh, regions in the donut chart will come from this index that i have named here whole equal to 0.4 means there will be hole inside that pie chart which will make it as a donut chart if you don't give it it will be a normal pie chart title is the o the overall title that you want to show uh, here I'm showing overall situation uh, which will show the total cases and you'll get the value from total confirmed color uh, I experimented it experimented with it a lot and finally I settled with these three colors for active I'm using Indian red for recovered I'm using medium sea green for dead I'm using black and this is how the colors look like so active is Indian red recovered is some sea green and dead is black then I'm updating this plot which we have created um, for some final fine-tuning of the text that is that you see inside here so what you want to show is the label and the percentage and what the font should be and how the alignment should be so either it can be horizontal or it can be radial. So I'm choosing here text position as inside. So, uh, so it will show the text position inside the donut chart. Uh, what type of text it should show. It's percentage plus label. Font size is 14. You can reduce it if you want to show it in a uh, smaller window. Uh, show legend. Uh, legend is this uh, three uh, color and labels so that will show here if you pass it and text orientation as I mentioned it is horizontal and finally I'm updating the layout with title underscore x equal to 0 0.5 which will center this title in the overall figure so it won't be at the side it will just go to the center and the last command is to figure dot show if you run it you will get a window it opened a new window here and this is the donut chart that we were aiming for from the start. And that's how you can visualize the COVID-19 data set. And this donut chart is pretty useful to track how many people are still there which are active and what is the recovered percentage. You can keep track of these values uh, over multiple days and then you can also see a trend, how the recovered percentage is improving, how the active percentage is going down. So it's a pretty useful uh, graph in my view and I think that is all for this video. I would keep the videos short and uh, to the point. So in the next few videos, I may show you some other plots that you can build on the COVID-19 data set and some other data sets of uh, interest that uh, come up and I have worked with already. So. I can show you how to plot and how to do some different type of analysis on the data sets and even predictions. Uh, so if you want to catch up on all those videos, I would suggest if you can 
subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video if you uh, if you got something from it and if you have any suggestions or comments uh, please leave them in the comment section and I will definitely try to uh, incorporate your feedback in my uh, in my next videos uh, I'm still early on my journey so please uh, pardon me for any mistakes that I made during this video and hope to see you again thank you very much